Mm, some people ask, why no skids? Can I have a look at the old motor controller? Yeah. Right, Let's have Follow. a look. Follow me, mate. Follow me. Uh, got a bit of a smell out of the car, and uh, when I pulled her apart, not sure if you can see in there, but um, it's pretty black. Toasty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, man. Yeah. Hang on yeah. a sec. Ah, oh, look, yeah. you can see holes through the circuit boards. Yeah. <laughs> That's why no skids. Yeah. So, anyway, so we blew so, this up. So, we pulled this out. Yep. That one's dead. That one's really dead. If, yep. you could, if there was smell of vision, you'd get that strong electrical smell. It stinks like crap. It stinks like rubbish. But, I tell you what, I, uh... Oh, yeah, good one. So what's the next plan? We're, we've bought a new controller. We've got a new controller. We've gone from uh, 600 amps to 1,000 amps. That's a Ziva 1000C. Who I bought this controller from, he's from Perth. He's a wonderful guy and he's a really, really talented engineer. Uh, and he recommended I go for the 1000 amp and he came to the party and gave us one uh, almost at cost. So all that's got to come out. We just got to reconfigure some wiring. Don't try this at home, kids. Wow, look at that. He's crimped. Good fucking. Good fucking. Do you like? Love it. I might double crimp it, just for fun. That's what, what, do you I do. That's what I do. What do you reckon? them? Blow them apart. Wreck them? Okay. Done. So, double crimped. Costa and I got from Event Power. Uh, Stop blood. Oh. Cleaning. <laughs> cleaning. No, down lower. Yeah. Cleaning. Show the cleaning. Cleaning. Cleaning the lug. Cleaning connection. And over there. And over here. Small connections being cleaned. Because when we want things to short, we want them to short good and proper. <laughs> That's right. The idea behind the cleaning is that they make good electrical connections. There's nothing that separates like a little bit of grip. A bit of grip. Here you go. Here, my dear. Thank you. Here's your loop. Thank you. Alright. Now, the idea of this loop, of course, is not to lubricate, but rather to get a better connection. Similar to heat compound for your processors, GPUs, and the like. That's just too, too propellant, mate. Sorry. You like a lot of lube. I do. I like to be sure. You're twisting my socket. <laughs> well, you hold that nut while I twist the socket. Where's the rest of it? I don't know. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know that either. We have shortened this. Should I get a so the new controller? No. So the new controller can fit in. Um, we've reconnected that. We've rerouted all this in here, and we're just tidying up here. Does that mean we can start putting stuff back together again? So
Hey everybody, wrapping up for today. So we've made a little bit of progress. Uh, let's go through it, mate. All right. What we've done is we've taken this battery out. We've installed the temp sensors over here, ready to go so we can get the, the uh, temperature of the motor and of the controller during the live uh, running. Yep. We've shortened these uh, high voltage cables to suit the longer form factor of the new controller, yep. the 1000 amp controller. Uh, what we've got to do now is uh, just got to hook up all the small signal cables, neaten that up, they'll all come together, put the batteries back in, and away we go, mate. Then uh, what do we do next, mate? Skids, burnouts, driving? Yes. Let's do it. So we should be able to do skids, no worries. But when? When? It's Christmas almost. No, no, no. Give it two weeks. Two weeks, it's in and it'll go. What happened, mate? Oh, Jack. <laughs> uh, every, we put the car back together and everything was working beautifully. So the new controller booted up green. In here somewhere? Yep. Over here, yep. Uh, and everything worked perfectly, except when you hit the accelerator pedal inside the car, the car didn't move. Okay. So aside from that, it was perfect. <laughs> In other words, it was a lump of steel it was and a batteries. Lump of steel, not even a glider. Um, okay. And what I found was that the Hall Effect transistor in this little device here, which uh, is the like, accelerator. That is the accelerator. Yep. Um, had died. I've got the old one here. Okay. So I replaced one of these little babies. Is that it? That's it. Hang on, let me zoom in. Oh, wow. That was it, seriously. And essentially in here is one of these and a magnet. That's, that's, the, that's what it comprises of. But it has to be pretty rock solid, hence the uh, nice steel frame for it. Came okay. from EV Works. I'd recommend buying one. 70, okay. $75, something like that. All right, so we'll just uh, put the um, accelerator assembly back together again, eh? Pretty much. Okay. We mount it and away we go. Screw it and screw it in hard. <laughs> <laughs> You're rolling, are you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's ready to go. Let me just bring the roof down. Let's go for a maiden voyage. Take two. A thousand. Wow, this is this is another moment in time, you know. Hey, this is another moment in time. <laughs> Let's go, mate. Up in. Let's see if the taco works. Uh, that's right. We're meant to be showing if the taco works. Yes, we are showing the taco work, but we're getting in the car too. Yeah, good, good, good. Can you see the taco here? The taco is at work since I took the petrol motor out. Okay. Can you actually see it? Yep. Okay, go. Wow. We can show the motor spinning. It's actually good. Excellent. All right, let's go for a drive, buddy. This is exciting. It's working again. Thank God. With a much bigger controller in it. Uh, we should be able to go a bit faster. I think we'll just take it easy. <laughs> maiden our, voyage. Our maiden voyage take two since the um, electric car. Correct. This is suburbia in Melbourne. That's good. It's really good. I think that's about it, mate. Then we can actually do skids in a sensible place. Yeah, under controlled circumstances. Yeah. So, um, anyway, that's us. A uh, little bit more progress, not far to go, but we're going to talk about a new project. Yes, the Beetle. Um, so we've got a new project car. It's been parked up for a while. Um, I'll post another uh, video up about that. Um, it's about my journey to picking it up and coming back and thanks to some friends for helping us out um, identifying in another state in Canberra. So, another state, another territory, another, another territory, territory called Canberra. Um, so yeah, we've been, um, we've been hard at work in the meantime. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. So yeah.